coming around. Green flag flies. Stockton on the outside. Cheevers on the inside in the 45. Side by side, but here comes Stockton. Stockton with that yellow numbers coming out of turn number four. This will be lap number one. It's Cheevers, I believe, as your race leader. Cheevers. Ainsworth, now here comes Stockton on the high side as he makes it work up there. Gets the run on that cushion up there. Yellow comes out of turn number two. 124 goes around. Anthony Hill, the 124 of Anthony Hill gets up. Tech area, but here comes Colt Cheever run turn number four. Colt Cheever leads him down that front stretch. Let's see if Stockton can make that high side work again. Got the advantage the last time up there. Colt Cheever, though, slid a little bit up in front of him there. Said, nah, I'm not going to let you do it this time. So, Cheever, your race leader here on lap number two. Stockton Ainsworth. Shawnee Lanning looking strong on the high side in here as she goes side by side with Ainsworth in the 14 car. Then it's Morrison in the 50, the 30, 33 of Curlis. On lap number three, there's the 90 then of Jesse Mulek. Let's go back to your leaders there. Coming out of turn number two right now, Colt Cheever in the 45, Stockton. Ainsworth, the 09 of Lanning. Morrison up on the high side. Here comes the 90, the 90 of Jesse Mulek now. Moving up into six. Oh, as Lanning almost gets into Ainsworth there and turns number one and two, but your two leaders, Colt Cheever. This will be lap number five this time across for Cheevers. And the 33 of Stockton. Ainsworth, Lanning. Morrison now goes low side with Mulek in the 90 car. Look out back there, and Jesse Mulek, as the door opens up, he takes advantage, moves up into fourth now. The 50 of Morrison slides up the high side, landing in the 09 as they go side by side. Little beating and banging there between those two cars as landing in the 50 of Morrison slide up in turn number two. Back to your leaders, though. Here comes the 33 of Stockton. Stockton gets that move on the low side. Stockton, your new race leader here on lap number seven. Yellow comes out for landing in the 09. Oh, and Headley goes around as well in the 23, just as it was getting interesting here with the 33 of Stockton. 124 of Anthony Hill, Logan Headley, and Gary Akers in the 31. Landing the 09, here we go. Seven laps down. So Stockton and Cheevers, the top, top two. Here comes Ainsworth now in the 14, three wide on that back stretch. Morrison in the 50 car, the 90 of Mulek. Oh, somebody's going around here. Yes, they do, as several cars go around. With Ainsworth, the 50 of the Candyman. Uh-oh, flat tire for the 23 there of Headley. I think his night will be done. Here we come out of turn number four. Eight laps down, seven to go. So Stockton, Cheever, Mulek, your top three. Here comes Ainsworth. Ainsworth gets by up into that fifth spot now. The 14 car of Ainsworth side by side with Curlis. But your leader, Stockton, in the 33. Mulek now makes the move. Mulek in the 90 car gets by Cheevers. Jesse Mulek up into second now. Jesse on the move. He started inside a row number four up into second now. So Stockton, Mulek, Cheever, Curlis, Ainsworth, the Candyman, Morrison. And the 124 again of Anthony Hill. This will be lap number 11 this time. Stockton with a good lead here. Jesse Mulek, Colt, Colt Cheever, your top three. Here comes Ainsworth now. Back up into the top four. Ainsworth. Curlis and Morrison. As the laps count down here, this is number 12, so just three to go. Yellow, whoa, in turn four as Ainsworth keeps on moving. Let's see if he can keep it going there. Ainsworth in the 14 car does keep moving. Morrison. Hill. All right, just three laps remain. Stockton brings him down. Green flags fly. Here we go. Cheever, oh, all the way.
way up to the top there, hangs on to it, stays on the track. He tried to slam it up into that cushion up there in turn two. Not been able to make it work. He gave it a shot, though. That Again, Mulek still up in second, the 33 of Stockton. Now Curlis up in third. Let's see if Cheever can move his way back up. White flag will come off this next time across for your leader, Ben Stockton. Ben Stockton in the 33S. It's the 90 of Mulek, the 33 of Curtis. As Colt Cheever moves up, back up into that fourth spot. But your winner tonight for your feature event in your E-Mods, it is the 33 of Ben Stockton, the 90 of Mulek. Jeremy Curlis, Colt Cheever. That's your top five there so far. The 124 of Anthony Hill. Your winner, Ben Stockton. The 90 of Mulek. So Ben Stockton, your winner. But out of the car, Ben Stockton. Your winner tonight. Congratulations, Ben. Nice run there tonight. You got by Colt Cheevers, and then he just set it sail after that. Yeah, I, was, uh, I wasn't I was sure about Colt. Uh, I follow him on Facebook. I know he's won a lot of races over there in the east side, uh, so I wasn't sure what to expect, and he took off, and I was like, all right, we got a fight tonight. So I uh, had a blast. It looked like Jesse came up there towards the end, so that's awesome to see Jesse and some of my lakeside guys come back out here and, and uh, run up front up here. All right, congratulations on your win tonight, Ben Stockton. All right, side by side for 25 laps. Ziegler takes in the tail of the field. Here we go. 25 laps, 1,000 to win for your mod lights here at Central Missouri Speedway tonight. Last night it was a 500 to win race, and that was the 46 of Dylan Rafferty. All right, as we start to fan out a little bit here with your... Mods, it's still in Rafferty. Corey Babbitt in that 50 car. He's just bouncing around here. Takes it right to the edge. Every lap, you can see him every once in a while. It's starting to bounce that car. So Dylan Rafferty on lap number two. Babbitt, it'll be Justin Rafferty. Ed Griggs in the 64. David Rafferty in the 64. Joe Glick in the 6, 171. A Danner, 98. A Rafferty. Jeff Rafferty in the 90. A William Veach in the 95 of Mike Kennedy as we have a car slowing down here on the top side up in turn one and two. Side by side, here we go. Mod lights underway. Corey Bobbitt, Justin Rafferty with the one car so far that's gone up to that high side. But Dylan, your leader. Dylan Rafferty, Bobbitt. Ed Griggs now up to third. Ed Griggs moves up to that spot with David in the 64 behind him. And then it's Danner and Justin Rafferty. Now Kennedy in the 90. Eight gets by him as well. Side by side action. Three wide coming out of turn number two. Danner on the high side, Justin Rafferty. And Jeff Rafferty on that low side. But Dylan here, your race leader on lap number six. Quick time of 15.9 on that lap. So Dylan with Bobbitt still in the second spot. Ed Griggs, David Rafferty, and Donnie Danner. There's your top five. Jeff Rafferty now moves up into that top five in the 98. Justin Rafferty behind them. And then Joe Glick in the three, William Veach in the, in the zero car, and Mike Kennedy in the 95. But Dylan Rafferty here, eight laps down now, eight laps down. Dylan now starting to pull away from the field a little bit. He's been dominating here at Central Missouri Speedway. Just north of Warrensburg, oh, and several cars, including Danner and the 171 and the 98 of Jeff Rafferty. That was fifth and sixth. So tough break there for those two drivers. 
So tough break there for those two. Furled flag from Herschel Thompson here. The light is out, so that means we're ready to go green. And we do go green with Dylan Rafferty down the front stretch. Bobbitt, Ed Griggs, your top three. Then it's David Rafferty, the 64. Justin Rafferty there in this 75. And Joe Glick just behind them. But Dylan Rafferty running about a 15.8 on their times. They'll start slowing down a little bit as those tires start to wear down and things the tires warm up, not getting as much grip down on the track. But it's still Dylan Rafferty here as your race leader. This will be lap number 12 for Dylan in the 46. So again, Dylan Rafferty, your race leader here in that 46 car. Dylan down that front stretch. So Dylan on the lap number 12, Cordy Bobbitt, Ed Griggs, David Rafferty, Justin Rafferty, Joe Grick, Mike Ve William Veach, Mike Kennedy, Trace Ayers. Here's Dylan again coming down that front stretch on lap number 13. Lap 13. Rafferty, Corey Bobbitt just, Bobbitt just keeping him within eye reach here, see if he can stay close to him. Ed Griggs and David Rafferty, Justin Rafferty. Again, that 3G of Joe Glick, William Veach, Mike Kennedy, Trace Ayers, and Blake Wilson, some of our travelers here this weekend, is now battle back here for the fifth spot. As right now, they're pushing pressure on the 75 of Rafferty. Justin Rafferty. Glick on the low side. They go three wide. Glick pulls back out, gets the binders on there. That zero car, William Veach. Bill Veach moves up in the zero car now. Now up into lap traffic. Here's your leader, the 46. There's second place. There's third place, the 64. And the 64, so Ed Griggs pulls back a spot. David Rafferty up into third. There's fourth, and then it's going to be Veach in that zero car, Justin Rafferty, with Glick behind them. So your leader's now deep into this lap traffic. 18 laps, so just seven to go. This will be lap 19, lap 19 this time across. Five, five laps to go, I believe. That's the signal that I get downstairs from our flagman, Herschel Thompson. But right now, as they start to close in with this lap traffic, the 65 of Ziegler almost gets in the bobbit there in the 50 car. But Dylan Rafferty, your race leader. Dylan Rafferty in the 46 machine. And the yellow flag comes out as a 33 of Kevin White goes to the infield out of turn number three and four. So just three laps remain now for your 1,000 to win. Will Dylan Rafferty hang on? Babbitt, if he's going to do something, this is going to be the place where he needs to do it on the restart. Not sure he'll be able to do it up there. Dylan Rafferty, white flag will come out this next time across, I believe, or the one to go to the white flag. Still Dylan, Bobbitt, David Rafferty, Ed Griggs. White flag comes out next time across. A thousand to win tonight for your mod lights. As a white flag flies, Dylan Rafferty brings him down. White flag out for Rafferty Babbitt. So the 46, the 50 car, he's the driver out of Texas. But your winner tonight, three nights in a row, Dylan Rafferty. Thousand to win, Babbitt.
David Rafferty, the 64 of Ed Griggs. So Dylan Rafferty, Corey Babbitt, it'll be David Rafferty, the 64, Ed Griggs, the 64 and fourth, Joe Glick moves up into that fifth spot, makes the pass there at the end, Veach in sixth, Justin Rafferty, seventh, Trey Ayers, eighth, we'll head on down to the track, we've talked to this gentleman several weeks in a row now, he's weekend, your winner, Dylan Rafferty! Dylan, you hung on. You've had quite a weekend in this 46 car. Oh, yeah, this thing's been on a roll. Yeah, you definitely have it figured out here at Central Missouri. You won last night. You won at State Fair on Friday night. You just seem to have this car dialed in here. Yeah, I was struggling a little bit at the beginning of the year, but finally got figured out, and I believe this is eight straight, so hopefully keep it rolling. All right, congratulations. Your winner tonight, Dylan Rafferty, 1,000 to win. On the front row, it's Dalton Kirk. Dalton Kirk, the three, Jay Lewis, Jackson, Willard behind him. Here's your top three as they come across. Dalton Kirk, Jackson, Willard, your top three on lap number one. Let's see if any of these back cars from the C-Main can work their way up into that top 12. But right now, it's Dalton Kirk, Jackson, and Willard on lap number two. Jason Persley now, he's your top five, the 12. B of Nathan Vaughn in there as well, side by side with Persley in that 38 car. Lap number three, Dalton Kirk, Lewis Jackson, Willard. The 88 car, a Jimmy Dow, and then the 40. Jimmy Dow gets by for that third spot now with the 40 or with the 12V of Nathan Vaughn, Jason Persley, the 82 of David Wooden, Scotty Roberts now. This will be lap number four this time across. So Kirk still at the lead here. As McKinney gets up on the top of the cushion there, coming out of turn three, Dalton Kirk. Lewis Jackson still your top two. Jimmy Dow, Willard, 12V as three cars get together back here on the back side. It's the 19 of Bray, the 95 of Wallman, and the 17. 25 and 1, 25 and 1. 25, 15 to go. So it's Kirk, Jackson, Dow on the top three. Here we go. Problem on the 95 at Johnny Wyman slows down, but Dalton Kirk here, your leader on lap six. Jackson, Dow, Willard, and Vaughn, your top five. So six down. Number of drivers back through the field now, trying to maneuver up through the field a little bit. Tanner Mullins, one of those cars, and the 14 of Graves goes around. The five now of, oh, he has to go through the infield. That's going to bring out the yellow tough break. Oh, my gosh, Coast Cart. Colson Kirk goes from a qualifying position. He's going to have to go tailback, four wheels off the track. Graves got around in the 14, and there was no place for him to go. So Kirk's. So Dalton Kirk. Lewis Jackson gets a little loose on the high side. That brings up the 12V of Nathan Vaughn. You can see this high side starting to develop now. Have a couple of guys on the low side as well. Willard down and out low side. Jackson goes to the high side, but right now it's Dalton Kirk. And now Jimmy Dow up into that second spot. Jimmy Dow moves up a position now. This will be lap number nine this time across. So Jackson three wide. Here comes Tanner Mullins in the 02. Tanner Mullins, oh, and the 66 Tia Tyler Schmidt goes through the infield. That brings out the yellow. 66 Tia Tyler Schmidt. Seven laps down. Here we go. Dalton Kirk brings him down. So 
So it's Kirk Jackson. Dow the 40 of Willard. That's watch for that 17 and Mike Striegel there as he tries to get up into the top spot. But Dalton Kirk, Lewis Jackson, Jimmy Dow, Willard, Vaughn, and the 02 of Tanner Mullins are top six right now. So those six, seventh Pursley. Oh, and the 71, JD Kelly goes around with Clayton. Campbell in the 23 is the 5 of Colson Kirk and the 66 of Tyler Schmidt pull off. Nine laps in now with the 23 of Clayton Campbell and the 71. Kelly was actually in a qualifying position there. Here we go as Kirk leads him down again. Almost halfway. This next lap will give us halfway to the 20 laps for your B, Ma, or B main top 12 qualifi qualified drivers is still Dalton Kirk. Kirk Jackson Dow, your top three. Here comes Lewis Jackson now. He gets a good run in there up into second. Now Lewis Jackson on the low side. Dalton Kirk on the high side as they come on out of four. This will be lap 11 this time across for your leader, Dalton Kirk. Lewis Jackson Dow. Your top three, Willard to 12 via Nathan Vaughn, the 0-2 of Mullins, the 38 of Pursley, new leader this time. No, still Dalton Kirk on lap number 12. Dalton Kirk still your leader on that side, but Lewis Jackson making it work down here on the low side of one and two. McKinney gets loose up on the high side, the 21 MB loses a spot up there. That could be critical for him, but right now it's Jackson, Kirk, Dow, Willard, your top four. Tanner Mullins, the 12 via Vaughn, the 38 of Pursley, the 24 Jimmy Dean, Graves. Here comes the 17 of Mike Striegel. Mike Striegel moving up. Mike Striegel up to 10th now. Scotty Martin 11th. And the 21M of McKinney, that's your top 12 right now. But the 3J, Lewis Jackson, your new race leader, this is lap 15. Five to go, five to go now. You better be on the move if you want to make that top 12. The 3J of Lewis Jackson, your race leader. It'll be the 30 of Dalton Kirk, your top two. Jimmy Dow in that 88 to 40. As another yellow flag comes out here on the front stretch, looks like some debris right down here on the front stretch, just pushing them up off the wall there. Some debris down low here, just off the wall here on the front side. Lewis Jackson, here we go. Jimmy Dean Eaton gets almost sideways, coming into turn number two, loses a spot to Graves. Jimmy Dean Eaton falls back. But right now, your leader, this would be lap number 16 with the 3J of Jackson. Kirk, Dow, Willard, Tanner Mullins still your top five. Oh, and Jimmy Dean Eaton goes around. Oh, this is going to change everything up here. Out of turn number one and two, Jimmy Dean Eaton in the 24, the 82 of Wood, the 53. 53 of Ronnie Woods, the 25 of Scotty Roberts. Scotty will be here in just four laps. Single foul restart. Tony Borgstadt with the cone on the front side. You cannot pass until you get to the cone. Jimmy Dean Eaton pulls off. Here we go. And it's Lewis Jackson bringing him around. Here comes a 75, Scotty Martin going to the high side. Scotty Martin now moving up some positions here. Makes it work up there. Dalton McKinney also goes up there as well in the 21M. White flag comes out this next time across with Lewis Jackson leading them down with the 30 of Kirk just behind. Oh, there might be a problem on the 3J of Lewis Jackson slowing down now. Lewis Jackson in the 3J. Can he hang on here for one more lap? Lewis Jackson probably has a flat tire. Lewis Jackson, let's see what happens here in the 3J. The 30 of Dalton Kirk as your race leader. 
the 3J of Jackson, the 88, the 40, the 02, the 12V. Oh, and the yellow comes out. Not what these guys wanted to see. Not sure what happened with Lewis Jackson. He slowed down on the backside as Kelly goes over the top in the 71 JD Kelly. White flag comes out this time for your leader, Dalton Kirk, coming out of turn number four. Your leader, Jackson. Dow behind him in the 88. He tries the high side. Let's see who finishes up front. I see Kyle Westerdahl now in the 17 as a checkered flag comes out. It's the 30 of Dalton Kirk, the 3J of Jackson, the 88 of Dow, the 40, the 02, the 12V, the 75, the 17, 1932. All right, Dalton Kirk, your winner, the 3J of Jackson. It's the 88 of Dow. Willard in the 40, the 02 of Mullins, the 12V of Vaughn, the 75. The 38 of Persley, the 21 of McKinney, the 17 of Striegel, and I believe the 19 of Bray, and I'm not sure about that final qualifier. I think it was Pence in the 32, but we'll have to check on that. So, again, congratulations to those final 12 drivers.